I saw another stalactite. Where is it? Of course, smarter practice might be to look for what your target is before you light the bomb. Mark. Were you able to grab out of those targets yet? No. Ah, uh, okay, I know which weapon you get, which I'm getting here. There it is. Ah, uh, I love that thing. Interestingly, you can hit it on, like, the very bottom, and it will still disconnect. Why that is, I don't know. That's who needs logic. No, Tektite. Bad Tektite. Thank you. Tektite just wanted to join you on the platform. Well, he'll get his turn. Yes, a small key. Okay, there are a couple more chests around here. This may take a bit longer than two and a half hours. Um, we're at about 150 right now. I'm sorry, I just took a long time on the escort part. That's okay. Um. Alright, not sure where these other chests are. No, oh, wrong button. Oh, I think they're on a... Are they on another level? Yeah, they're on a higher level. Which means I need to exit this room and go back. No, hearts are full, no need to break those pots. Okay, I should demonstrate how to fight these guys since I haven't done that yet. Wait. Oh, yes. And then once you beat this temple, you're able to beat these guys in a much more satisfying way. Yes. For now, you have to poke them in the ass. Why do we need to beat someone? Probably one of the more humiliating ways. <laughs> As someone mentioned on a, on one of Raikou Rider's Metroid Prime 2 videos that there are a very large number of enemies in the Metroid Prime series that you kill by the method of insert missile into ass. <laughs> that, that's, now, now, um, that's what I call a suppository. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you had to be said. <laughs> Emphasis on the explosive. Now, I think I'm just too easily amused by bad puns, actually. <laughs> well, okay, so in one of my previous videos, I said that the Gor I was about to say that the Gorons, like there were Gorons chilling out in the hot springs, and then I realized that that made no sense. So, and then my, then my guest commentator says, "Wait, wait, thinker, who chills out in a hot spring?" And I'm like, "I don't know." And he says, "An oxygoron." I'm like, <laughs> "Blink! Horrible. I want to hit you with something right now." <laughs> That's terrible. I know. All this right. game is just ripe for really bad puns, but... Uh, Link should join the Ivy League. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Horrible. Okay, another switch to pull that probably opens that gate. Yeah, it opens that gate. One more chest in this room. Set up them the bomb. Ah, what's a bat doing in here? Oh, um, Thinker, you know Pokemon, right? I know what? Pokemon, right? 
Um, I have played one of the Pokemon games. Oh yeah, never mind. You just said that. Yeah. Th th those those enemies look like a um like a uh, like a certain Pokemon from Generation Three, like the Aeron or something. Oh. I just I just actually I was about to say that I made myself look really nerdy, except then I realized that my screen name is um that Gastrodon. So. Yes. <laughs> I assumed that that was a Pokemon type. It's, it's the best Pokemon ever. It's, it's like a slug, and I love slugs. Slugs are awesome. Did you, um... I'm guessing the hat was your edition. Huh? It's wearing a hat, isn't it? Oh, actually, there's a funny story behind that. Well, it's not really that funny, but it is a story. <laughs> Basically, it's a Mario hat from, like, their Mario. That came from, uh, joystick. Before, before we get my joystick. Or whatever. Oh, yeah. Um, their their default avatar is a um is the head of paper a uh, head of Mario from Paper Mario, and um, people kind of started started doing that um doing kind of a uh, a thing where they take an avatar or whatever and then they do something with Mario like some of them they you know, made Mario bald in there or put on like a character with Mario's hat and I decided to stick um I originally had a picture of a gastro there and I decided to put Mario's hat on top of Gastrodon. <laughs> I, I was on YouTube, I was like, I need an avatar. Why not? Let's put this one on here. And that's, that's how, like, so now I have a Gastrodon hat on that. Go figure. Okay, only reason I'm not picking up this red chew jelly is because I have only one bottle to spare, and I may need want to put, like, a fairy or lantern oil in it. Where am I going with that small key, anyway? Um, it looks like I'm going up. You could say that you're going skyward. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, um, I can't imitate it that well, but I think of the... the, the laugh of Donkey Kong from the original Donkey Kong, it's like... Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I can't remember what that sounds like. I mean, I know what it sounds like only because of Donkey Kong 64, because you actually have to play that game. Yeah. And for some reason, they decided it would be a good idea to give you only one life. Oh, these guys are really weird. Oh, that's the way it is. Poke. Poke. I never defeated those guys like that before. That's faster. You know, Palmer. this is one thing I did like about Wind Waker. There's so many just really kooky enemies. Yeah. Well, I mean, the entire game was pretty kooky. I mean, there's the... There, there's the Miniblins, for one thing, who were very annoying, but you gotta admit, they made funny noises. Dang, dang, dang. <laughs> I actually really like those guys. They they um, reminded me of like uh, uh, Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. I never saw that movie. Ah, uh, that was like the only good one in the series. They they eventually made more, but they were all terrible except for the first one, which was pretty awesome. That's kind of how Disney tends to do things. Yeah. Well, now that Pixar took over Disney, it might be better. My understanding is it was kind of the reverse. <laughs> Well, no, no, no. Disney bought Pixar before, then Pixar left Disney, and then Pixar based... Well, I guess it, I wouldn't say they bought out Disney, but the president of Pixar became, I think, like the president of Disney or something like that. I can't quite remember. Huh. Um, that's interesting. But, like, that's where, like, um, the princess and the frog came from and stuff like that. We actually looked at a case in... I'm taking a class on corporations right now. We looked at a case involving the CEO of, of Disney, or the person who was then the CEO of Disney. Basically, how he screwed up <laughs> by, you know, making his friend the president when he didn't know what he was doing. Yeah. All right, so there are a couple of rooms that look like this. And in each one of them, Sorry, what? I, I gotta go. 
You do? Yeah. Something came up. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Um... If you... If... If you, you know, get freed soon, then call me and see if I'm still recording. Okay. Alright. Sorry about that. Bye. Oh, bye. Hmm. I did not plan to do this... Yeah. I didn't plan to do the last part of this temple solo, but oh well. Anyway. What am I doing now? Uh, yeah, I'm just going, what I'm doing is I'm going by the, the numbers of the chests on the map. Um, because the chests on the map that I have are numbered in the order in which you can get them. Actually, you know what? I just realized this is the first time during this LP that I'm going solo. Huh. Anyway. Well, maybe I'll actually explain things now. <laughs> so, once you get the water flowing by pressing, pulling the switch at the bot at the top, you need to pull the switch at the bottom. And that gets more water flowing. Again, you could use the debris or lack thereof when you open a door as a useful guide. And when you get the water flowing, these water wheels start turning before they were blocking your path. Stupid keys! I really need to... Yeah, I need a better setup, because... That's the second time my Wiimote has hit my desk. I hope that doesn't make a really loud sound in the microphone. Come on. Thank you. Ah! No, oh, I should have caught the blue one. Oh well. Yeah, the red and the blue ones will combine into each other to make purple ones, which our which are infinitely less useful, because purple chew jelly has a random effect. It may give you hearts, or it may take them away. Red chew jelly, on the other hand, will always restore eight hearts, and blue chew jelly will always restore all of your hearts. I'm missing something here. I hope I can go back this way. Yes, I can go back that way. Okay, I guess I have to go in here. Okay, yeah, like I was saying, use the debris, or lack thereof, when you open the door as a guide to let you know whether you have opened that door before or not. And even if you've been in a room before, which your map will tell you, it's good to know whether or not you have opened a door, because different doors may take you to different places in that room. I just realized I'm really hungry. Okay, yeah, this is the way I need to go. Back to the central chamber. Because there is more stuff to do now that the central chamber has water flowing through it. That raises the water level. Okay, now I see why the chests were numbered. Whoa, whoopsies. That must be painful. Except that the stairs are in my way right now. Can't get them in another direction. Ah, uh, too bad that Colin couldn't be here for the rest of the session. Oh well. You know what? I'm going to kill that tech tech because if I don't, it is going to come back and bite me that I didn't kill it. And it just knocked me on my ass.
All right, maybe this will let me get where I need to. Well, that was weird. I guess it only rotates in one direction. <laughs> 